If you are looking for generative AI tools to augment your editing but are not finding Adobe's Creative Cloud subscription to your liking, then stick around as in this video we're going to be exploring two cheaper generative AI alternatives, Luminar Neo and Photopea. We'll be looking at each editor's ability to remove challenging objects via generative AI, which is one of the prime use cases of this technology. We're going to find out as well whether any of these tools are genuinely useful and which editor has the better performance. Before we go on to the slideshow comparison, let's give a quick background of each tool and how to use it. The first entrant is named Generase from Luminar Neo. This tool was launched in October 2023 last year. According to Luminar's website, Generase is a tool to remove unwanted distractions while seamlessly filling in gaps, textures, and elements that match the surrounding area. In terms of price, you can of course get Generase by purchasing Luminar Neo. A Luminar Neo subscription currently costs $49 a year, less than half a Creative Cloud subscription. You can also purchase a perpetual license for $79, although Generase can only be used until January 1, 2026. Next, let's run through the limitations of Generase. Generase has a few notable limitations. The first limitation is it supports only one selection tool, a brush, and that has no edge detection. Strangely, none of Luminar Neo's other masking tools, from Mask AI to Object Select, can be used with Generase. The second limitation is Generase will only return one result at a time. There is no ability to choose between multiple generations as in other generative AI implementations. This will obviously be a more time-consuming workflow as there is considerable waiting time each time a new image needs to be generated. The third limitation is also pretty strange. Once a new generation is performed, Generase doesn't store the previously generated image. So if your current generation is worse than the previous one, or if you change your mind at all, there is no chance to go back to the previous image. Seems like an unnecessarily wasted step. So that was Luminar's Generase. Let's move on to learning about Photopea's Magic Replace. Photopea's Magic Replace was released on May 2023 of last year. Impressively, this means it was released just before Adobe launched its own generative fill on around the same month. As mentioned in previous videos, to use Magic Replace, you do need to purchase Photopea's premium service, which comes in three flavors, $8 for one month, $15 for three months, and $50 for a year, which just like Luminar Neo is much less than an Adobe subscription. The premium service also gives you around 3,000 credits or 1,000 generations a month, which is quite a lot, although that is the inferior deal to Luminar's, which doesn't have any limit as far as I'm aware. Looking at the features of Magic Replace, better than Luminar, which supports only a brush, with Magic Replace, you can use any of Photopea's selection tools, and that includes its powerful select subject as well as conventional tools like lasso, selection brush, etc. Similar to Luminar, image generation is limited to one image at a time. However, better than Luminar, Photopea stores each generated image in a layer, which gives you more options to access the best looking result from your previous generations. So that was a little about the features of each tool. Next, let's move on to the slideshow comparison. One note about this test, while you've seen that generations can be performed ad infinitum for each image, I've limited each tool to a maximum of three attempts to better test its accuracy and reliability. If none of the results looked good after three tries, the best out of the three would be used. In the case of Luminar, which doesn't store the previous results, the last option would be chosen. Now, on to the slideshow comparison. At the end, I'll let you know which one was the winner.
So I hope you found that slideshow comparison useful. Before I give my analysis, let me know in the comments which one you thought was the winner. Personally, I thought the clear winner was Photopiece Magic Replace. The first reason is Magic Replace tended to produce the better looking faces as you can see in this image. Luminar's output was, shall we say, not what I would have imagined the face to look like without the mask off. Same goes for this image. Magic Replace was also better in generating body parts in general. You can see in this example how the hands and fingers of the subject appear more natural with Magic Replace than Generase. While Generase result might look fine at a glance, after close inspection, the deformity is pretty obvious. Third, Magic Replace was also better in handling large objects in general. You can see here that while Magic Replace properly removed the distracting person, Luminar's Generase tended to replace it with an object, which is not what we want. So those are just some examples, and we could cite more, but that gives a flavor of why I think Magic Replace is the superior generative AI alternative. However, just to answer the other question, are any of the tools useful? I would say definitely. While both Magic Replace and Generase are not perfect, both are certainly useful and can perform complex removal tasks far better than a conventional clone and stamp tool. Also, we have to remember that these tools are getting better. In fact, Luminar Neo has already announced that it will be releasing a new update this October, which improves the generative AI to give even more detailed and realistic images at a higher success rate. I can't wait to test that out. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you know of any other cost-effective Adobe generative fill alternative. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.